if a water wave with length L moves with velocity V in a body of water with depth D, then the velocity of the water wave is given by this formula, where G is the acceleration due to gravity. So we can reference this diagram here. Here's, here's the depth D from like the mean height of the wave to the ocean floor. And then L is the wavelength of the wave. G is the acceleration due to gravity. There's D, there's L. Explain why the approximation, this here, is appropriate in deep water. So why in deep water can you approximate the velocity of, a, of an ocean wave to be this? Well, what we can do is we can say, what is the limit as the water depth approaches infinity of V? So the limit as D approaches infinity of V is equal to the limit as D approaches infinity of So how do we evaluate this limit? Well, the square root of GL over 2 pi, that's a constant. So we can rewrite this limit as we can bring the constant out in front of the limit. OK. So as d approaches infinity, this 2 pi d over l approaches infinity. I mean, they don't tell us anything about if l is a function of d. If l is a function of d, then we'll need to, we would need to do more analysis. But it, 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 they're making it seem like l is constant, or at least close to constant, as, as we vary d. So what is the limit as x approaches infinity of the hyperbolic tangent? Here's hyperbolic tangent. So as x approaches infinity, y is equal to 1 is a vertical asymptote. So tan a hyperbolic tangent is approaching 1. So this limit is 1. And so we're left with and there you go. Square root of gl over 2 pi, that's this here. That's what if you have, you know, a deep ocean, d is getting really large so that's, this is what V is approaching. This is the limit as D approaches infinity of V. So if you have a sufficient ocean depth in, in deep water, you can just approximate the velocity of ocean wave with, with this equation.